big send-off today for the UConn women who are headed to their 11th Final Four in a row. The Huskies beating defending national champs the University of South Carolina last night in Albany. Now they're on their way to Ohio. News 8's Tina Detail shows us how the team was celebrated today. The UConn Huskies are off to Ohio, but not before the fans got to give them a big send-off. Among those here for the Huskies was the Kip family from Dayville. I'm really excited. <laughs> very, very excited. Yeah, we just yeah. met Katie yeah. Lou coming in, so we uh, got a picture. They got a picture with her, so that's awesome. We spotted the hoops player trying out a hula hoop. You're good at hoops, <laughs> oh. but not the hula hoop? <laughs> no, I'm not good at hula hoops. But that's all Katie Lou Samuelson could say. No impromptu interviews before the celebration. UConn Huskies! The crowd gathered outside Gample Pavilion to celebrate this 11th consecutive trip to the Final Four and the 19th overall, both record breakers. Super proud of them. They played super well against South Carolina. Um, they're always a really great team, but I think they have something special this year. Where are you going to be Friday night? I'm definitely, definitely at the game. Definitely at the game, yeah. I mean, I'm lucky if I get some tickets, but if not, I'll be at home with some friends and uh, watching it. The team soon boarded the bus. Thank you, a lot of fans. Thank you. And a lot of reasons they support this team. The hard work they put in, the dedication to achieving their goals, and working as a team. I played basketball in middle school and in high school, so I love basketball. And it's just awesome watching the girls because they're so good. So good, this cheerleader is already expecting to be working the watch party at Gamble for the championship game Sunday night. I'm very sure. <laughs> I really think they're going to win. <laughs> Next stop, Columbus, Ohio, where you can bet even more fans will be waiting for their arrival. In stores, Tina Detell, News 8.